people left. Welcome back, you beautiful people. Yes! Jen is the only person that's allowed to say welcome back, you beautiful people. <laughs> We're on the sunny Isle of Wight. We've got a babysitter, AKA Nanny and Grandad, are looking after little man. So we thought we'd take this opportunity to go out and teach Jen a few skills that is gonna help her conquer some certain terrain that we're gonna tackle on a blue trail. First off, Jen, we wanna do some skids. Cause I wanted, I wanted you to understand the characteristics of that bike moving underneath you. I don't want you to freak out if you've, you know, locked up the tire. Cause you do tend to skid and go, ah! So we're gonna make you skid and make you do that. Yeah, ready? Right, Jen, everyone loves skids. I love skids. Kids love skids, even dads and mums love skids. Do you love skids? Don't know, because Jen's actually just skids, not on purpose, but in the case of just being scared. Yeah. You just lock up all your brakes, which it's not very good. It's not very good. We want to uh, modulate those brakes. Now, Jen, there's a nice gentle slope over there, just there. I want you to skid in there. So there's a bit of dirt, loose, and it goes onto some pavement. So it's gonna be real slippery as soon as you get all that dirt brushing onto the pavement, right? But you can start there, don't go too fast, modulate your brakes, modulate, and then as soon as I say lock up your back brake, not your front brake, your back brake. Do you know which one that is, Jen? Yes, yeah, so front brake, back brake. Jen's learning. <laughs> yes, so just the back brake. You wanna do a skid, okay? Down there. Okay, now when it comes to braking, out there on the trail. It's uh, all about body position, which we learned in episode one. Hey, Jen, learning to brake. Yeah. Moving your body weight back and forth. Look at that, she's climbing like a goat. She's not a goat, she's a lovely person. But mountain goats do climb, Jen's climbing. Anyway, Jen's gonna start up there. Jen, what you wanna do is stand up, feather that brake coming in. You don't wanna have death grip coming in because you're gonna generate a lot of speed. So you're feathering it, standing up, your body weight's over the rear tire, knees bent, and your heels are down. And as soon as I say brake, do a skid here. So I want you to get, I want you to understand the characteristics of your body moving around when you're in a skid and the bike will shift around, especially if it hits a stone, it's gonna move around, okay? So we're just gonna have a bit of fun skidding. Go. Oh, oh, you see that? <laughs> see that? Your body weight shifted back forward yeah. when you brake. That's when you think that you've stopped, but your body weight's still trying to go forward, even though your bike stopped. So you want to keep your body weight over the back. Okay. You're cold. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do more riding. More skids, you'll warm up. <laughs> That's better. Well done. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. What does it feel like skidding? Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Does it feel cool that you skid? Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This next section is all about modulating those brakes on a little bit of an incline because you don't want to be skidding. You don't want to be breaking loose on grip on your tires because as soon as you do that, you're gonna speed up and you don't wanna speed up, you wanna be slowing down. So I've made a mark on the floor just down there for Jen to roll down this hill and then slow down by modulating the front and rear brake together so she can stop at that line without a skid. That's the aim. You ready, Jen? Nearly fell off the bike. That was good, Jen. You're concentrating. I like it how your body weight is over the back. That's good. Because in video number one, it was all about body position on the bike, moving it around. And you've actually, wow, it's pretty good. I'm going to move the line to there. Okay. Then you're going to try and stop there. Yeah? Ready, Jen? Straight in. The There's the line there. Skidded. You skidded. I skidded. So try and stop at that line without a skid. Okay. Yeah. She did a skid there, look. Little skid. Oh, 
Look at that! <laughs> that was amazing! <laughs> yes! And much better. Yeah. More weight on the rear when you're braking so you don't brake loose and traction and speed up. No skidding. We don't want to skid. That's pretty good going, Joe. I think we've done all right. You've done some skids. The thing is when you go a little bit faster, the back end and it will, will fish if you skid. Okay. And that's when you feel a bit like, whoa, was a bit scary. So, but we can come to that. We're not here to learn skids. We're here to learn how to modulate our brakes because coming down this hill, it's going to help you going down this steep stuff here. Yeah. And you're ready to conquer that? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's all about body position, which we learned in the garden. It's the same, it's the same techniques, but now you just have to over exaggerate it a little bit and move your body weight over the back a lot more because you're going downhill. But let's go over that. What's that, Jen? I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it? No. Why? Look at it. It's like rampage for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is the next section in training and it's descending. We don't want to go out onto a trail and make it really hard and get to a position where we are a bit of a pickle and you've got to try and walk down it and not nice. So we're going to do it in a con controlled environment. I'll show you on my bike <laughs> and then I'll, you should have a go. Okay. Yeah? Right, Jen, when it comes to descending, little steep banks just like that one right there. The same technique applies to what we've been learning in the garden. This little bank is going to help you understand and teach you about moving your body weight again over the rear, heels down, and you're feathering those brakes. Because you don't want to go straight in, no brakes, because when you get to the bottom, especially on a hill that's got like a very tight radius at the bottom of a descent as soon as you've got that descent, you're just going to have a tendency to loop out, especially if you're going too fast and your body weight's too far over the back. Yeah. So when it comes to going down, okay, elbows bent, heels down, body weight's over the back, you're feathering those brakes, you're looking ahead, you're looking at where you're going to go. But just slowly grabbing your brakes, don't lock them, because you don't want to stop in the middle, because that's not going to be good. <laughs> That'll be uh, entry to fails and bails. <laughs> <laughs> don't want that. Right, you ready? <laughs> Jen, half five, man! That, that, you, you were scared. You fumbled a little bit at the beginning, but that's, uh, that's understandable because nerves were just kicking. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Jen. I reckon you've got it again. Yeah? Oh. What did you think of it? Scared. You're scared? Yeah, well, it is quite scary for the first time. A bit daunting, but the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. And you'll be like, what's that? I can go down, I can go down that. <laughs> One day. Right, Jen, do it again. Do it again, Jen. <laughs> That's really good. You're doing really well. Don't you think? Let us know in the comments down below how well Jen's doing. Oh, she's dropping again. <laughs> I think we need to go down this one because that blue trail is going to have roots like that. So I want her to get used to it now, not on the trail. Yes, Jen! Look, you went down that one instead of the... Do it again! Do it again! Her face is brilliant. I'm so proud of you, right? When we came here, you were like, no, I'm, I can't go down that. I can't climb that. No? no? <laughs> it's, all, it's all about having the right technique on doing things. What do you think? You've gone down, you've gone down the rough bit, you've gone down the smooth bit, you've done some skidding. Do you reckon you could climb up that bank on the other side? So drop in, or go along, and then go up the bank. Does it look too steep for you? It looks really steep. Does it look really steep? You, I reckon you've got that. <laughs> Remember, so descending, your body weight's over the back. For climbing, 
you want to go on the front, but you don't want to get too far forward because you'll lose traction on the rear. It's about keeping the balance between the two, yeah? As soon as you get there, your saddle's going to be down, so that's fine. Stand up. Don't sit down and try climbing. No. Yeah? yeah? Got it? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Oh! Yeah! That's too easy, Jen. That's too easy. No, it's not. Yeah, you just flew up that. You still got to... I'm not going to stop, am I, halfway? So what are you doing there? That's different. What are you doing? I'm pedalling up the hill. You're pedalling up, but are you stood up? Are you moving to... Are you going forward? Are you staying quite neutral? Stood up, probably leaning a little bit forward. Yeah? A little bit. That's... Jen, that's ridiculous. Is that right? Yeah, that's perfect. Do you reckon you could go down that and then back up there? The short, steep one. But you've got it. Cool, we're pushing the boundaries now. This is episode two. We're getting ready to hit a blue trail, Jen. It's gonna be so much fun. Go, Jen. Oh. Literally ran because I thought you were gonna stop at the top and die. <laughs> so if I couldn't get up that hill, what would I have done? Died? <laughs> no, you wouldn't have died. Uh, you would have had to put your feet down, lock your brakes, put your and feet down. And fall backwards. Uh, and fall backwards. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, you probably. No, you wouldn't have. Try again. No, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> No, I don't want I reckon it. you've got it. I don't want to do it again. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing it again. You sure? You do it, and then I might do it again. Okay, I'll do it. Like that, Jen. So I just have to go faster? Go a little bit faster. Then you don't have to pedal, like I said. You don't want to pedal there. <laughs> yes, Jen! Do you feel like you could have fallen off? No, that was good. That was really good how you just put the power down just enough to get you over the top. Oh, so good. Now, if you go even faster, you get air. But we're not going to do that. I don't want you to get air. The only air that you're going to be producing is when you're scared and it comes out the other end. Anyway, moving on. Yes, the woods. Right, why have we come to the woods? Well, because the woods is where well, there's no grass and grass, there's a lot of grip. And here, there's gonna be not much grip as much as the grass is. It's gonna be quite loose, but that's good. And there is some undulations again. Uh, you're gonna start getting your balance on, Jen. We're gonna turn, we're gonna do cornering again because cornering in the grass, there's grip. Cornering out in the dirt, there's not much grip as there is on grass and you don't have much experience riding in the woods. So this is the biggest step we've got to riding an actual trail. So I'm gonna plot out a course like I did in the garden, but I'm gonna add in features. So you can't really ride over a stump like you did on a brick. Mm -hmm. So this is where we're gonna concentrate on turning, cornering and riding rough stuff. So we haven't done that yet. Are you ready? So maybe just ride around like normal, just ride around, get used to the bike moving underneath you because there's loads of logs and stuff and sticks and stones and stumps. It's all about looking ahead, look at your path and then, yeah. And I'll plot out a course. Mm. You ready? I'm ready. Good! Okay, well, Jen's exploring the woodland over there. Look at her, stood up, saddled down. She's doing that. I'm going to plot a course up. Now, see this? some lumps here, some lovely lumps. Uh, we're gonna get Jen to ride through here. It's gonna put her off balance and she's gonna fight for balance. We've got that, we've got logs here, we've got a gully. She can ride through there. Maybe we go through here, through these stumps. Yeah, I think that's good. Through there, just mess around. All down there. Ready, Jen? Ready. Right, you ready? Let me show you the course. It's there. You've got to ride over all those lumps, mm -hmm. then down there, around my bike, turn around and come back up because it's uphill this way. <laughs> mm. 
So looking ahead, knees bent, that's it, look ahead. Look ahead, that's it, look ahead. Oh, oh, yes, Jen. That's too good. Your body weight now, the bike goes everywhere it wants to go. And then you were like, whoa, going fighting. So you got to be in, in control of the bike. So if you, if the bike's dipping, you lean back. If it's going up, you lean forward. You constantly dancing around. Like we said in, in episode one, where all four quadrants, you move forward, back, left and right. Yeah? Oh, you did well there. Did you tell me to go the other way around? You can go the other way if you want. It's uphill. So you're going to have to be pedaling and going through. But it's good. Your saddle's down. You're in a good gear, good foot position is good and you're looking ahead i do see you glancing down looking at your front wheel now <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so look forward it's good but a bike you don't have to look too far ahead because you're not going fast so about a bike bike and a half that's just too easy jen that's too easy that's crazy. Right, I'm gonna plot another track out. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plot out a corner. I'm gonna use these logs, just make it look like a, a turn and scrape away all the horrible stuff. So Jen can nice carve left and right, which is key because in the dirt, you don't get much grip. So let's do that. That'll do. He is a lot more intimidating riding in the dirt than it is just on the grass. Because the grass is, you got so much grip. Yeah. And you got tendencies to losing the front a little bit. Again, Jen. <laughs> See, when you're turning, you're opening up there. So if you come in earlier, I mean higher up, you'll exit there. Try again. You've got that, you nailed it. Let's, uh, let's ride some rough. Let's go over there and ride some rough. And then we'll go find some turns somewhere else. Okay. I'm fine. Was that your first crash? My first crash. First crash. <laughs> oh, you're, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Jen, you're doing very well. That there, going over those bumps. High five. That was really good. Now uh, I've scraped out another little route for you through here. So you've got to go through there, between those two trees, round, round that, round there. Or first drop back to us. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Little tip, Jen, when you're riding off-road, don't don't try and don't drop your leg. Don't have one leg down. Especially off-road because you could clip a hidden stump. Or when you go around a corner, you'll catch it and it'll put you off balance and send you off in the wrong direction. Okay. You could crash. So always level pedals when you're off-road. Especially when you go off this drop. Level pedals. Okay. Yeah? This is going to combine every single skill that we've learned in one, in one mm -hmm. to get you around this track. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Ooh. Stump. That's it. Oh. I get up? <laughs> that was good going. I like how you got your body position off of that, off that drop. I think a little bit more speed. Yeah. Let the suspension do the work. 
so you can get enough power and oomph to get up this ridge here, yeah? Whoa. That's it. Remember, a little bit of speed, not too much. Not too much. Go. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Wow. Just that stump there got you. Mm -hmm. I reckon you could clean that. I, I, I even think, remember, remember the last time where you linked, I put a zigzag in, you went around the washing line and you zigzag and you came, you did it the other way. I reckon you could do that, but go off that drop and go down there. Huh. All in one. Well, that's it. That's it. That's it. Stand up. Oh, that was it. I reckon different gear. So you've got a little bit more power to get up, to get on there. Because I think you didn't think, feel like you didn't have enough power. Yeah. Whoa. Ah, oh, keep going. That's it. No, okay. Can't turn that. It's a bit. We're, we're, we're jumping ahead of ourselves, aren't we? <laughs> That's good going. Kind of clean that. I reckon cleaner all the way. All the way. No feet. She's getting too confident now. Oh. Look at her. Oh. Do you know what? It's super good fun just messing around out in the woods with your partner just to make sure when you are teaching a friend or a partner or a brother or sister, I think patience is key and don't just chuck them in the deep end because they're going to hate it. I've done that. Where did I do that, Jen? Surfing. Surfing. I took Jen surfing in the worst conditions ever. She doesn't like going surfing now because of that one experience. Now, I learned my lesson, and um, I think you like your mountain biking? Yeah. yeah? But off-road, a little bit more difficult. Yeah. We had your first crash, <laughs> but you got back up and you did it. Yeah. And you're nailing little drops like that, going through trees over these funny bump things. Oh, Jen, I think a little bit more practice off camera, and I reckon the next time you come back on GMBN, we're gonna be hitting a blue. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon? Maybe. I reckon so. Thank you very much for watching this rad video. Hopefully it's helped you out and understand that you just need a few skills to go out there and ride your bike. Don't chuck yourself in the deep end. And Jen, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yes! Don't forget to give us a thumbs up like and if you want to see Jen more on the channel, like doing free ride and stuff, probably don't let her do that because I don't want to see her crash like that. <laughs> we'll see you next time. See ya!